This is code.org. Let's see what we're working on. Run. Run this program to see how it works. That seems smart to me. Save the sparrow. Run. What am I? What? It's, huh? Did it do anything? Not yet. Okay. How did? You, how do you think the random number command works? Oh, look at that. Oh, I have to click. Ooh, okay. So we got to click. Oh, now it's running. Oh, look at the image move. Okay, so random number. Awesome. Most programming languages have a random number component. Technically, it's pseudo random numbers. We're not going to get into that, but computers can't do random. Regardless. Um, all right. Now, how do I think it works? Well, I'm guessing that it is a random number, such as here, between 0 and 100. And I think it's 0 inclusive, maybe? Um, so the number could be 0 up to 99, I believe, but I bet they'll tell us. And then here, 0 to 200, or 0 to 199, maybe? 0 to 100 again. And so the computer randomly picks a number in between those. And that's what makes the hawk, or is it the hawk? Yep, look like he's jumping around. So, cool. All right. Make the birds move around. Uh, why does the bird move even not when clicked? Oh, well, that's because he mouse over, right? So the bird's moving on mouse over and mouse over. So the mouse has to be over the screen. And then it will, or over the animal, and then it will move, okay? It's not on click. So hawk, and what is hawk? Well, design mode. If I click, oh yeah, that ID is hawk, that ID is sparrow. So once the mouse is over those items, they move, set their property randomly. That's what's occurring. All right, make the birds move around the entire screen, not just the top left corner. Ah, all right, so how big is this entire screen? Well, notice we have an X, Y value right here when I have the mouse over it. So zero zeros up here. What's way down here though? Yep, so that's 450Y and a 320X, it looks like. So if we want them to move around the screen, we need to be able to set their X value to the full extent. Right now, my hawk's X will only between be between 0 and 100. So 0 and 100X. Well, we want 0 to 320, we just said it was. Now, why 0 to 200? That would just be the top of the screen. So we want 0 to... Ah, 450 is what we said. Sparrow, same deal. We need 0 to 320 for the x value and 450 for the y. Let's try. Run. run. Oh. And so we might want to notice that it can go partially off the screen. Oh, he might have gone fully. Where'd he go? So maybe we want to lower the X value a bit to make sure they can't go off the screen because it takes, it's doing it from the edge of the image. That should do it. All right. Experiment with events besides mouse over and click. Which one makes the game work? Which one still makes the game work? Mouse over. Uh, what about mouse move? Because then if we move the mouse, everything would still happen. I mean, still work is kind of an opinion, guys. So now if the mouse moves over them, right, as opposed to... <laughs> they just, that one pretty well, that works pretty well. Um, and we could try a bunch of these, but they're going to all have different impacts. And we'll be using these throughout the course. But mouse move, I like. It could probably do click as well. We would just have to click each time. So, cool. We have a fancy, fun, hot game. All right. Random number we're going to use a lot. But let's go ahead and uh, keep going. 